Hi guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. My name is Ross, and you may remember me from our Monkey Fist Christmas video that we just did last week. Okay, yes, technically that is- I gave you my 8th grade picture for you to put up there and you're not using- Anyway, okay, if you are new to paracord crafting like myself, we have an awesome project for you today. We're going to be incorporating a ton of different methods, we're going to be using a ton of different materials, and we have a cool little weave for you. So with all that, let's get paracording. So for our Christmas themed bracelet today, we're going to need 10 feet of white, 10 feet of Kelly green, and 10 feet of Imperial red. We'll also be using a jig. We have a fid, our scissors, our trusty lighter, and we're going to be adding some letter beads to our bracelet today. So as I mentioned before, we are going to be using our jig to make our bracelet, and attached to the jig, we do have a 5 8 inch metal buckle. So here we do have the middle of our green cord, and we're going to be making a simple cow hitch on the top of our first buckle. So you want to put the loop through, spread it out a little bit, and put the two cords right on through. Now for this bracelet, we do want a double cow hitch on both of our buckles, so we're going to be making another cow hitch right next to this one. So the way that we make our second cow hitch on our buckle is we're going to take the right side of our green cord here and we're going to come over the top and go through our buckle. And as we bring it through, we're going to see that we make a little bit of a loop with our cord. And as we come to that loop that we had made, we're going to put our cord through that loop. We want to tighten that down. So for the next part, we're going to take the end of our green cord and we're going to bring it up behind our buckle and through. And as we come to our loop, we're going to put our cord right through the loop to create the second hitch. And again, we want to tighten those up and make sure that they're sitting pretty. Now we want to make two cow hitches on our bottom buckle as well, so we're going to flip the jig over. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to stick our right side of our cord down through the face of our buckle. And for this, we can actually pull it a little bit tight because we are going to want our core strand uh, to be very tight in there. So after you have it going down, we're going to take our the cord that we just put through. We're going to put it over the top of our middle cord. Then we're going to take the end of that same string. We're going to come through the back of the buckle. As we do this, once again, we're going to be creating a little bit of a loop, and we want to take our string, put it right through that loop. And we do want to make this cow hitch very tight. We want to make the core strand as tight as we possibly can. All right, so there is our first cow hitch, and we do want our cord that we're going to be weaving with on the right side of our center strand. We're going to do the exact same thing on the left side. So for our next step, we're going to be attaching our FID to our red cord. We're going to be passing it right down below this loop here on the green cord. And then we're going to be using the Manny method to cinch it to that loop. Now we have a lot of videos on the Manny method, and we're going to be linking those in the description below if you need a refresher. So we're going to be attaching the FID to our red. And then this loop that we made with the double cow hitch, we're going to bring it right on through. And you want to go down when bringing it through. All right, so we are at the end of our red cord and you can see that we've already hollowed it out a little bit for the Manny method. We're gonna take the beginning part of our red cord and we're gonna come up through the middle of our two cords and cinch it to the end here using the Manny method. Once you've finished cinching your Manny knot to the bottom of your two cow hitches here, we're going to take the other end of our red paracord and we're going to go down through the top of our top buckle. 
Now for our final step of the setup, we are going to put our FID onto our white paracord and we're going to lace it through the two top cow hitches that we have here. All right, with our setup complete and everything back to being very tight in the middle, it is now time to begin our weave. So to begin our weave, we are going to start with our middle strand, the red one. We're going to come under and over top of just itself, just the red cord. Take our end and go in between the red and the green. So you should have something that looks like that at the top. Next, we're going to be taking the right side of our green string. We are going to be going under the first two strings and over the third string. So we do want to create a little bit of a loop on the right side there. And we're going to do the same thing with the green. So we're going to take the green. We're going to make sure that we are over top of our red string. We're going to come under two and over the last one. So now, you should be crossed over the outside of the string on the opposite side with two loops right next to each other. So now, we're going to take our white string, we're going to go under the green loop that we just made and under the first green center strand. So we're going to take the end of our white string and we're going to put it through the loop that we had made with the green string making sure that we are on the right side of the white string. We want to go between the green and the white. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the left side. We're going to come under our green string. We're going to come under the leftmost string. And with the end, again, you want to make sure that you're going through the loop that we made here with our green string, but on the left side of the string itself. We do not want to cross those cords here. Okay, so right now our weave looks a little, a little crazy, but this is the most fun part that I have found. So now we're going to cinch the knot up. And the way that we can do this is just by pulling the white strings and then pulling the green strings. Pulling the white strings, pulling the green strings. And, and you're going to notice that that knot will be getting a little bit tighter. Now, you can also pull on the red string to make this knot tighter as well as you're pulling close your knot. And after you get done cinching everything, you should have something that looks like that. We're going to be doing the exact same thing for the entire weave. So again, we're going to start with our red string. We're going to go around itself to give it that little bead. So once again, we have that nice little bump knot right there on the top. You can actually make that pretty tight. We're going to take our green string. We're going under two, over one, making sure to keep our little loop here. Take your other green string, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Under two, over one, making sure that we are keeping a little loop on the left side. We're going to take the right side of our white strand, go under everything, underneath the green, underneath this green string as well. We're going to go in between the green and the red, take the end of your string, and make sure you're going between the green and the white strings. You do not want to go to the left of this white string. The knot will not work. You got to go right through there. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the left side. And now my favorite part of the knot, let's cinch it together. So here we have two passes of our weave and we're just gonna be continuing it down the center strands. So at the beginning of the video, we also mentioned that we were gonna be incorporating a couple of our letter beads and the way you do this is really easy. So on our first step where we take our red cord and go around itself, You can simply, at this stage, add the bead onto your cord. It's going to be laying right there. And then just finish off the loop by taking your end 
and putting it through the green and the red. Again, we only want the red string to go around itself. And you can already see, as we start to do this weave and we tighten it up, our letters are going to lay right across the top. So we are going to continue with the rest of this bracelet weave, and we will be right back when we're at the bottom. So now that we have completed our braid and we're all the way down at the bottom, we just kind of want to hide our paracord so when we cut it and burn it, all of those burn marks are in the back. We can see that our white strand actually ends on the back and so does this white strand as well. So we just need to do something about these two green cords that are sticking out. We're going to put a fid on one end of it and we are just going to bring it down through the initial loop that we had made that we had our red string hanging on to. And with the other side of our green string, we're going to do the exact same thing and come down the middle to make sure our string is ending in the back. And now all that's left is to take it off of the jig and burn the back ends. So here we have an awesome Christmas themed bracelet. Now I did forget to mention at the top of the video that this is called a sanctified covenant weave. And we have covered it a little bit on our channel here, but a special thanks to the Weavers of Eternity. They have an awesome video on how to do this weave as well. So if you do want more information about it, please go check out their channel. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If it did help you, please leave a like and a subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video. Happy holidays. Okay, who do I talk to about those pictures at the beginning of the...